Hello YouTube, this is Kiaz Naina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a health and lifestyle channel where we talk about different health conditions and lifestyle modifications to accommodate the same. Karibuni, it's been a minute that had to just but we are back. And uh, today's topic is hypertension. And the reason I decided to talk about hypertension is because it has become quite rampant in the past few years, I would say. And uh, it's even more common in uh, the younger gen generation than we were used to. Initially, high blood pressure was more common in elderly people, people above the age of 45 or 50. Nowadays, we are getting quite a number of people with hypertension below the age of 40, some even below the age of 30, which is quite uh, dangerous if you ask me. And uh, high blood hypertension is high blood pressure. Basically, that's it, which means your blood pressure is higher than normal, higher than it's supposed to be. And how do you know you have high, high blood pressure? You know that by getting checked. You just walk, walk into a healthcare facility, a matter chemist. Uh, you get them to check your blood pressure. They'll advise you at a kama ikoju, ama ikosawa. There are symptoms, though sometimes it can be silent, which is a bit, um, a bit not so good because if it's silent, then you may not know what is happening. You may not know that your blood pressure is high. And uh, when that happens, then you're not safe. So to be safe, ni vizuri uende wangaliwe pressure because like I said, this can be silent. For some people, they experience headache, uh, blurry vision, like your vision is not very clear. Also, you may have dizziness. Um, normally, you're not supposed to feel your heartbeat, but if you're aware of your heartbeat, we call that palpitations. Again, that may, may be an indicator that your blood pressure is high. What else? Your limb may swell. You may have some chest discomfort or pain. Easy vituzote, zineza indicate kwamba pressure yako ikoju. But they do not necessarily mean your blood pressure is high. If you have a headache, it doesn't necessarily mean your blood pressure is high. But it's good to have it checked. And if it's checked na iko high, your healthcare provider ataku advice accordingly. Depending on how it will be because it has stages. And uh, now that is for your healthcare provider to advise you. Depending na vilo me present kwake. Sawa sawa. Now... Uh, high blood pressure ama hypertension doesn't have causes, doesn't have specific causes, but it does have predisposing factors ama contributing factors ama factors ambazo zina kueka, zina kuexpose ama zina kueka at a high risk ya kukua na pressure and uh, I will start with number one which is being overweight or being obese so we advise mostly ujaribu if you walk into ata si lazima uende kwa hospital kuna watu wanakuanga wakipima weight na hate kwa centers they can tell you your weight and estimate your bmi for you and then they will tell you if you're obese if your weight is right if you're underweight if you're overweight hizo vitu zote watakwambia and uh, now you can know what to do from there so if you're overweight you have a higher chance of getting hypertension more than someone who is within their normal weight range. Another thing that may predispose you to hypertension is um, low physical activity or physical inactivity. This is for people who do not like exercising or even leaving their couches. couch potatoes. There are people who just will wake up, eat, and sit on the couch, watch TV, ama play PS, atoke hapo akule arudi kuwatch. Like, basically, where kazi yako ikotua hapo kwa nyumba. You may be working, and uh, this is maybe for people who mainly work, wanafanya kazi ya, kazi haihitaji field, haihitaji utoke uko nje. So, yeah, you're working, but you're not working physically. That is one, that's another factor that may predispose you, ama put you at risk of having hypertension. Another thing that will predispose you is high salt intake. High salt intake, you still need to elaborate. Kwanza when you have tabia kuongeza chumvi kwa chakula, like chakula imeshafika kwa meza, unaongeza bila hata kuonja. That's a bad habit. 
And also, when you're cooking, don't put too much salt in it. Just because you're told to see on gaze sasa unamu yeke kwa jiko. Just put moderate te, uh, salt, ile enough to taste, but not too much of it. Another thing is high consumption of alcohol. Alcohol is not bad, but ukitumia vibaya. If you use it moderately, it's okay. But if you're a person who will take alcohol on a daily basis and you're taking more than three beers on that daily basis, again, ah, you're risking your health and it's not very good. Another thing is caffeine. Now, caffeine, caffeine is found mostly in coffee, in, um, in, in, um, in energy drinks, energy drinks, kama kina, kina um, Red Bull. Red Bull, I think, is the most common. I think what when you want to do Red Bull. Now, I do not have anything against Red Bull, by the way. Sin a shida na Red Bull. And you can take it every once in a while. But if you find yourself taking Red Bull even twice or thrice in a week, na unaketi, unakunyo ya kwanza, unamaliza na ya pili. Kwanza, don't take two cans of Red Bull. Why are you taking too much ca Two cans of Red Bull, it's it's like a lot of caffeine. Eh, so a lot of caffeine does contribute to high blood pressure and other things. But today we are talking about high blood pressure. So yeah, uh, another thing that will predispose you to or will put you at a higher risk of hypertension is uh, high cholesterol levels, and this will be checked by your doctor. Kuna damu watatua kwa mkono na wataangalia. And uh, this one mostly goes hand in hand with physical inactivity and obesity. Actually, these are the nyingi sana zina, zina bebana. Like physical in inactivity, obesity, high cholesterol levels. Hizo zina ambatana ambatana. And then there is something we call diabetes. Iyo ni ugonjo waskari. If you're diabetic, you have a chance. Not a very high one, but you have a chance of getting hypertension. Uh, that said, it's always necessary to, especially if you, it's not well controlled. If it's well controlled, likelihood iko chini. Iko, but it's it's lower. But if your blood sugar is not well controlled, then you're, you're at a higher risk of getting hypertension than someone who has controlled their blood sugar well or someone who is not diabetic. And uh, there are drugs to control the blood sugar. And uh, also, diet is one big factor when we are trying to control blood sugar even weight diet ni a very big factor so kwa watu wa obese you may need to visit a nutritionist besides going to the gym or working out you don't necessarily have to go to the gym sometimes sometimes you can't afford the gym let's be honest so even working out in the comfort of your house kuna apps kwa internet just download those now you can go to youtube there are so many people who are working out and sometimes it's fun because they are dancing and you know with when you can take a walk you can run do anything you don't necessarily have to enroll into a gym but if you can and uh, get a good trainer go for it um yeah and then there is a, there is hypertension that comes with other conditions that is now besides um besides diabetes this is uh, like pregnancy. I'll talk about uh, uh, hypertension in pregnancy after delivery and uh, inapote, inapote, inapote. And when someone is using some types of family planning, see your family planning zote, but kuna some types of family planning zenye zinasababisha blood pressure in the Jew. We'll talk about at a, that at a later video. But uh, if, that's, if that happens, then it will be sorted during that time and then we'll be good to go. Um, I think with the predisposing factors we are done and symptoms here to Lisha Sema, you may experience a blood revision, headache, dizziness, chest pain, palpitations, lower limb swelling. These are the zote you may experience if you're having high blood pressure. But remember I said it also may be silent. In a kosa kukua na symptom yoyote. So if you have a Find yourself every once in a while, just walk into a facility, same and be many pressure. It will cost you maybe a hundred bob at the most. I'm a 150. See that, I'm a 150 anyway. Yeah, Juni, pressure to a tapupima. 
na atakuelezea kidogo depending on how your blood pressure will be atakuelezea vile inatakikana kukua now uh, treatment for it it has first of all we let's go kwa treatment kuna kuanga na the prevention bit prevention bit ni ku avoid easy predisposing factors zote tumezisema being overweight so you have physical activity it's uh, healthy avoid salt intake um ningine avoid caffeine moderate your alcohol i forgot to talk about smoking in the causes ama predisposing factors smoking of cigarettes eh hiyo pia x actually you stop smoking <laughs> don't moderate alcohol you moderate smoking you stop you completely stop smoking because it has a higher risk than these other factors uh, tumesema you reduce your salt intake what else have i left out nothing really now uh, the other part of treatment which is not preventive is uh, medical treatment there are different types of drugs they mtahitaji kutumia and uh, depending on your age your gender your race vitu tofauti tofauti kutakuwa na dawa aina tofauti tofauti you may be started on the lowest and uh, the what the mildest i don't know what to call it but kuna zile classes tunaenda tuki tukipanda panda if it may be a combination it may, may be one type of medication kuna aina tofauti there is no one hakuna line moja ya kusema ati si kama malaria yenye tunasemanga first line ni hii ikifail ndio tuende kwa second line for high blood pressure it's 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 kind of custom made kwa ule for you whatever is working for you is what you will stick to and usually when you started on antihypertensives you'll be required to monitor your blood pressure every so often and kuna tests ambazo your doctor will be requiring for you to do regularly to check on your general health condition vitu kama cholesterol levels your kidney functions atakwambia and uh, yeah just to check that everything is okay because there are complications that may come about with high blood pressure especially when it's not controlled when it's controlled most of these conditions when they are controlled when you're able to take your medication as required and when you're also able to follow the preventive and lifestyle modifications that are required for you to live with that condition it is hard for you it is not 100% going to prevent you from getting complications but it will play a role so yeah you need to pay attention to those as well the lifestyle modifications that you need to make to live with the condition that you have today it's just hypertension but kuna wenye wanaishi na pressure na inaitwa nini diabetes na pia wao wako na zile conditions wameambiwa try to avoid this try to do this try to do that that same same way so the complications that may arise number one you may get a stroke a stroke uh, will happen if you have a very high blood pressure that will cause a, an infarct in your brain so may cause a stroke you may have heart failure or even a heart attack and um, blindness blindness is a factor if you your blood pressure is too high and uh, what else kidney disease or other organ failure and diseases they may happen if your blood pressure is not well controlled so the take home message today is every now and then hata kama wewe ni less than 30 like i've said nowadays um people as young as 30 or less than 30 actually are getting hypertension which was not what we were used to before so ukijipata mostly if you go to a hospital and uh, you have any other condition most likely daktari wako atakupimia pressure but if they don't you can request them to check your blood pressure na hata kama hauko mgonjwa just walking into a facility tell them i want to check my blood pressure au atakata atakupima na kuambie kama iko sawa ama haiko sawa yeah and uh, another take home ni mkuwe physically active 
hata kama kazi yako ha involve ku move around uh, set aside at least 45 minutes to an hour in your day to do something physically hata kama utatoka utembe for like an hour and come back and uh, yeah or even just work out in the house do something physically to avoid that physical inactivity eat healthy stay safe